Introduction. In the event we delete the boundaries, the most captivating celestial body I recognize, one that might be extraordinary in our sky, is Betelgeuse. This particular Betelgeuse is a massive red supergiant star. If you were to position it where our sun is, it would reach out all the way to the orbit of Jupiter. This massive, extremely unstable star is on the verge of exploding, but it's not as straightforward as it sounds. These enormous creatures in the universe, events like the most extreme supernovae, could shake everything we observe and even things that we are unable to. Clearly, Betelgeuse is regarded as a representation of a red supergiant star, frequently, much larger than our sun. Brian Cox, along with other astronomers, predicts that it could explode in an upcoming supernova. What is a supernova? People have become more concerned about what's going to happen, because the James Webb Space Telescope has been capturing remarkable images of the star. When exactly will Betelgeuse erupt? How significant will the supernova's impact be on Earth? Let's delve into the magnificent constellation Orion, which shines so brightly that even ancient civilizations noticed it. The splendid star Betelgeuse resides on Orion's eastern shoulder, ranking as the second largest star in the constellation. From this location, it gets its name as a shoulder star. Betelgeuse is likely one of the brightest stars visible in the night sky. In addition to its brilliance, the star emits an unusual red hue which, as we will explore, signals potential. Danger. It has long been studied by humanity. The Greek astronomer TMY observed it long ago. At that time, the first thing people recognized about stars was their color. TMY noted that the star seemed to have a reddish-orange hue, a concerning sign. In recent years, Scientists have been studying the star with even more precision. They now have a much deeper comprehension of what gives it its striking luminosity. One of these factors is that the star undergoes substantial variations in brightness, fluctuating by as much as 0.6. Betelgeuse is a star with multiple meanings. Why does its brightness fluctuate frequently? In 2019, researchers observed brand new behaviors in Betelgeuse, never seen before, even though it didn't stop shining entirely, its brightness significantly diminished to a level of approximately 1.6. This caused experts to investigate the some reason for such an irregularity in one of the brightest stars in the sky. They were hoping to find an explanation for why Betelgeuse was behaving so erratically. According to their findings, Betelgeuse could explode as a supernova. Brian Cox, an internationally renowned scientist, revealed this concerning evaluation. As an outstanding professor of particle physics at the University of Manchester and the Royal Society Professor for Public Engagement with Science, his opinion carries weight. He also shares his perspective in books and popular science television shows. The well-known Brian Cox explained that Betelgeuse seems to be, in the future, a bomb with the potential to explode quickly. To support this claim, the James Webb Space Telescope has provided substantial evidence Despite peculiarities, Betelgeuse's bizarre behavior in terms of its variability has raised a lot of questions. With new data, Betelgeuse has established itself as a candidate for a supernova. However, researchers still don't know when the explosion will take place. The mass of Betelgeuse is nearly double that of the Sun. This supports its classification as a candidate for a supernova. Generally, stars with at least a few times the Sun's mass are considered potential supernova candidates. However, scientists add complexity to the plot. They've investigated Betelgeuse using various tools such as the James Webb Space Telescope and the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory to uncover mysteries surrounding the star. What they've uncovered is still shrouded in mystery. Betelgeuse was born on the 31st of August a very long time ago. Since then, the star has been offering odd signals that make its future uncertain. Brian Cox's insights on Betelgeuse revealed they had detected peculiar light waves emanating from the star, which raised further intrigue. But there was more. This strange occurrence brings us back to the fact that Betelgeuse is a variable star, whose brightness changes. There were reports that Betelgeuse had regular darkening episodes akin to sunspots on our own sun. 
but its cycles were different. It now shifts between bright and dim phases twice as rapidly as it once did. Another odd sign. Researchers observed that in February 2021, the star's dimming cycle reached a brightness band of 0161. This was not long after it experienced a massive dimming event, marking the beginning of its abnormal behavior and raising alarms that Betelgeuse might be nearing. The end. The significant dimming between 2019 and 2020, reaching its lowest level, made numerous professionals convinced that the star would explode within the next 100,000 years. But when Betelgeuse brightened again, following this unprecedented dimming, things got even more perplexing. Andrea Dupree, a physicist from the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics, noted the star was now 150% brighter than usual, making it the seventh brightest star in the sky. Researchers were astonished to see a red glow coming from the south of the sky. The situation only became more puzzling. This development sparked numerous theories about the cause of Betelgeuse's great dimming. It's essential to highlight that not every star gives off the same red glow that Betelgeuse does. This glow marks Betelgeuse as a red supergiant star, which is the final phase of a star's life before its death. What will happen when Betelgeuse goes supernova? The red color is the result of a surface temperature of approximately 3,500 Kelvin, considerably, cooler than the sun's outermost layer, which is approximately 5,500 Kelvin. As a result, Betelgeuse emits less heat and energy per square meter of surface, though it is much larger and on the brink of exploding. We should also consider the extraordinary dimming event that Brian Cox questions. Does it really mean Betelgeuse will go supernova? The fact that Betelgeuse has already entered its red supergiant phase indicates that it is nearing the end of its life. A star in this phase frequently becomes dim as it dies, and this is something scientists can detect. However, Betelgeuse's recent unusual behavior has prompted scientists to focus even more on monitoring it. Numerous telescopes are currently focused on this mysterious dimming event, attempting to gather additional information. Things continue to get even more intriguing, as researchers still don't have a deep comprehension of Betelgeuse's actions. Using cutting-edge instruments, scientists are watching the star closely. The James Webb Space Telescope has been one of the most valuable tools since its launch in 2021, helping astronomers gather new, valuable data about Betelgeuse. The telescope's eye. Images of the star's extraordinary dimming have demonstrated that it triggered a massive mass ejection, roughly 400 billion times more significant than a typical coronal mass ejection. Will we be affected? The James Webb Space Telescope can observe things that are invisible to the human eye, such as specific light wavelengths and frequencies, making it an invaluable asset. Researchers have observed dust clouds forming on the star's surface that, appear to be like leaves suspended in space, an odd but fascinating finding. Despite the fact that Betelgeuse is undoubtedly approaching its demise, scientists continue to watch for signs of when it will finally explode. No one knows the precise moment. Betelgeuse is believed to be significantly larger than the sun, and researchers expect this brilliant red star to shine for the next decade. But, given the bizarre behavior of the star, it's hard to say if this forecast will hold true. After the significant dimming event, scientists do not anticipate that Betelgeuse will explode in the near future. In the end, when it does, it will be the first known supernova in modern times since Johannes Kepler's observation in 1604. Scientists don't think it will happen soon because they are still trying to understand the star's erratic behavior. Despite this uncertainty, when Betelgeuse does eventually explode, it will be an exceptional and unique astronomical event. When it finally goes supernova, it will emit an immense amount of energy, briefly shining brighter than the entire galaxy, and visible even from Earth as bright as the full moon. Though the supernova will be an awe-inspiring cosmic event, it will not pose any direct threat to Earth, as Betelgeuse is over 600 light-years away. Conclusion and final thoughts. Nonetheless, it will provide a valuable opportunity for scientists to study the final stages of a massive star's life 
and the phenomena associated with such an explosive event. Betelgeuse's inevitable demise is not merely of interest to science, but also a reminder of the vast and unpredictable nature of the universe. Stars like Betelgeuse play an important role in the life cycles of galaxies. They enrich the cosmos with vital components necessary for the creation of new stars, planets, and potentially life itself. The death of such a star is not an end, but a transformation, as it releases heavy elements that will seed new stellar systems. In the meantime, scientists continue to observe Betelgeuse, piecing together the puzzle of its future. The mystery surrounding it grows deeper with each new discovery, expanding our understanding of the universe. Perhaps in the years to come, we will witness one of the most extraordinary changes in the universe, the transformation of Betelgeuse from a massive red supergiant into a breathtaking supernova. Until then, the sky will remain a canvas of wonder, with Betelgeuse shining brightly as a reminder of the fleeting nature of life in the... A supernova is an occasion that will be the focus of astronomers and sky watchers alike, even though we are unsure when exactly this transformation will occur. Presently, the star's instability has sparked a wave of speculation about its future. The advanced instruments and technologies at our disposal, such as the space telescopes Hubble and James Webb, have provided astronomers with breakthroughs in our understanding of the behavior of this remarkable star. As Betelgeuse fluctuates in brightness and behaves erratically, scientists are carefully examining the data in the hopes of discovering what causes these changes. The star's extreme variability could be a precursor to the violent explosion that will ultimately mark the end of its glorious existence. Whether or not Betelgeuse will burst into a supernova within the next few years, or much later, remains uncertain. One thing is abundantly clear. Cosmic surprises, and Betelgeuse's eventual demise, will bring new opportunities for discovery. Throughout the centuries, astronomers have observed and studied countless stars, but few have garnered as much attention as Betelgeuse. Its immense size, variable brightness, and unusual color have made it a subject of intense research. As a red supergiant, Betelgeuse is already in the final phase of its life cycle. The star's massive size means it will eventually exhaust its nuclear fuel, leading to its ultimate collapse and subsequent explosion into a supernova. This explosive event will release an incredible amount of energy, significantly altering the surrounding cosmic environment. Despite the many uncertainties surrounding the exact timing of Betelgeuse's supernova, one point of agreement exists among astronomers. The star's eventual demise will be one of the most significant cosmic events to occur in our lifetime. Takei, data being collected by the most advanced telescopes today, is helping to unravel the mysteries of the star providing crucial information about the processes that occur during the final stages of a star's life. By studying the behavior of Betelgeuse, scientists can gain deeper insights into the general workings of stellar evolution. Moreover, the explosion of Betelgeuse will likely leave behind a lasting impact on the surrounding space, enriching the interstellar medium with heavy elements that will eventually be incorporated into brand new planets, stars, and potentially even life forms. This creation-destruction cycle is an essential component of the life cycle of stars, and Betelgeuse's supernova will be a prime example of this cosmic process. As we continue to monitor stars like Betelgeuse, astronomers are studying evolutionary stages using cutting-edge technology to understand the forces at play. The James Webb Space Telescope, with its unparalleled ability to observe distant objects in the universe, is providing a wealth of data that will shape our understanding of stellar dynamics. The measurements and images captured by these telescopes are contributing to the discovery of the intricate mechanisms that power the evolution of a star, from its formation to its ultimate demise. Although the death of a star may seem like a cataclysmic event, it is in fact a crucial step in the ongoing cycle of stellar evolution. The elements that come out of a supernova contribute to the formation of new stars, planets, and the possibility of life. In this sense, Betelgeuse's demise, and the demise of stars like it, is not an end but rather a change that drives the birth of new celestial bodies. As such, 
Betelgeuse's supernova will play an important part in the ongoing contribution to the universe's evolution and the creation of the components for the stars and planets of the future. Up until Betelgeuse finally explodes, astronomers will continue to observe and study its behavior, piecing together the clues that will help them predict its future, the star's fluctuations in brightness, brightening cycles, and other unusual behaviors make it a fascinating subject of research. With each new discovery, scientists are learning more about the processes that govern the life cycle of stars, and, by extension, the evolution of the universe itself. The mystery surrounding Betelgeuse's fate serves as a reminder of the vastness and complexity of the cosmos. The universe is filled with untold wonders, and the study of celestial objects like Betelgeuse enables us to glimpse the incredible processes that shape the fabric of reality. Beyond its scientific intrigue, Betelgeuse has also captured the imagination of writers, filmmakers, and artists for generations. Its eerie, fluctuating glow and dramatic potential for cosmic catastrophe have made it a staple in science fiction and popular culture. Some cultures have even attributed mythological or spiritual meaning to it, interpreting its reddish hue as a symbol of the heavens or of earthly change. Its name, frequently mispronounced or associated with pop culture references like the movie Beetlejuice, adds to its mystique, bridging the gap between academic study and mainstream fascination. Astrophysicists are also investigating how nanoparticles, subatomic particles, could be released in large quantities when Betelgeuse finally explodes. These particles would reach Earth hours before the light from the supernova itself, potentially serving as an early warning system. If such a system is refined, it could revolutionize how we monitor dying stars from across the galaxy. Also, Betelgeuse's eventual death may give rise to a neutron star, or possibly even a black hole, depending on the final mass that is left behind after the explosion. This outcome will provide a rare chance to investigate the aftermath of a supernova up close, in cosmic terms, and offer data that could clarify the conditions required for black hole formation. Betelgeuse is also influencing theoretical models of stellar wind behavior. Its vast environment is shedding material into space, contributing to the star's complex surroundings. Studying these stellar winds helps scientists understand how mass loss affects a star's lifespan and explosive end. These winds, laden with elements like carbon, oxygen, and nitrogen, are believed to enrich nearby nebulae and may trigger star formation in adjacent regions of space. In essence, Betelgeuse is more than just a dying star. It is a celestial laboratory that continues to reveal the interconnected dynamics of stellar birth, life, and death. As we continue to explore the cosmos and deepen our understanding of the forces that govern it, we are reminded of the fragile, transient nature of life itself, including the stars. Betelgeuse shines brightly in the night sky, providing a glimpse into an extraordinary universe in constant flux, 